As always, please feel free to pause the video and take notes as needed. Welcome to this demonstration video on front of neck airway or fauna. The purpose of this video is to provide a visual guide for the proper securing of front of neck airway or plan D of DOS 2015 guidelines. A cannot intubate cannot oxygenate or sicko situation arises when attempts to manage the airway by tracheal intubation, face mask ventilation, and supraglottic airway devices insertion have failed. The saturation is dropping. Hypoxic brain damage and death will occur if the situation is not rapidly resolved. A cannot intubate cannot oxygenate and progression to front of neck access should be declared. Scalpel cricothyroidotomy is the fastest and most reliable method of securing the airway in an emergency setting. Extend patient neck by pushing a pillow under the shoulders or by dropping the head of the operating table. Cricothyroidotomy set contains a gum elastic bougie, size 6, cuffed endotracheal tube and also a scalpel number 10 blade. Stand on patient's left hand side, if you are right-handed. Perform a laryngeal handshake to identify the larynx. Stabilize the larynx between thumb and middle finger. Stretch the skin. Place the index finger on the cricothyroid membrane. Hold the scalpel in right hand, making a transverse stab incision through the skin and cricothyroid membrane, with the cutting edge of the blade facing towards you. Keep the scalpel perpendicular to the skin and turn in 90 degrees, so the sharp edge points towards the feet. Swap the hands, so that you are holding the scalpel with your left hand. Take bougie in your right hand in parallel to the scalpel and right angle to the trachea, push the tip down the scalpel blade, keeping contact with the blade until bougie is in trachea. Remove the scalpel. Advance the size 6 tracheal tube to the trachea by continuously rotating the tube as you advance it. Try to avoid excessive advancement of the tube. Remove the bougie. Inflate the cuff. Attach the circuit and confirm the ventilation with capnography. Proper positioning of the tube is confirmed by auscultating breath sounds, observing chest rise, and assessing end tidal carbon dioxide levels. So, remember, when it comes to managing a difficult airway, perseverance and adaptability are the keys to success. Keep calm, stay vigilant. And never underestimate the impact of determined anesthetists and technologists working in tandem. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this video helpful. For any question, please visit our website, www.damsociety.com.